what if I told you that one function could behave completely differently depending on who is calling it? In Python, that's not magic. It's polymorphism. Stick around because this concept will change how you write code forever. Hello coders, welcome to my channel. I am David, your guide to mastering programs. Polymorphism is an important concept in object-oriented programming that allows you to call the same method on different objects but all those objects can have different interpretation of the same method. In practice, we recognize three types of polymorphism. First is duck typing. Duck typing says if it quacks like a duck, then it is a duck, which means Python doesn't really care what actual object's type is. It just checks if the object has the behavior that we need. For example, if I have a class dog, that has method sound that will print the sound that the dog makes, which is woof. And if I have a class cat that has the same function, I mean same method sound that will print, but now the sound that cat makes is meow. And I have a function call that will get an animal, and that animal will call its sound function. And now if I create instances of these two classes, for example, instance D will be dog and instance C will be cat. Now I can pass D and pass C to this call function. In first case, animal will be dog and dog sound function is print woof. In the second case, animal will be cat and the cat has sound function and it prints meow, which means the only criteria for this animal, or rather for this call function to work and this animal to be valid is that this animal has a sound. It doesn't have to have four legs or I don't know what. It just has to be to have this sound function. And now when I call this, there will be no problems. I expect to see woof and meow next. Wolf and meow next is printed. That's how we want it. So the only criteria is that this animal has to have the sound function. If it doesn't, then it is not an animal and there will be an error. Another type of polymorphism is overriding methods. You already know this. It is just writing a new definition for the existing method. This concept is present with inheritance very often. So first I'll create some class animal that will have the same method sound and will print some sound. And this dog will, will inherit from this animal. And this cat will also inherit from this animal. Both of these animals inherit from this animal class, which means this animal is parent to these two classes. And now if I call d dot sound and I call c dot sound, I'll create also an animal instance a dot sound. As you can see, I call the same function three times, but on different instances. And this sound overwrites this animal sound. And this here sound on in cat class overrides again the sound of this animal class. So I expect to see woof, meow, and some sound. And as you can see when I run this code, woof, meow, and some sound are printed. And the final type of polymorphism in Python is ad hoc polymorphism. Ad hoc polymorphism allows functions or operators to behave differently depending on the type of their arguments. So, for example, if I have print 1 plus 2, this will print me 3. Why? Because the two types are integers, so I want to add them. But if I have a plus b, this will just merge these two characters and print me a, b. Why? Because two characters are strings. But if I print list that has one element and that is one, and add another list that has elements 
2 and 3, this will merge these two lists and print the final list. As you can see, the ad hoc polymorphism did exactly that because the two it, it first prints three because the two types are integers, so I want to add them. Next, it merges the two characters because the two types are strings, and the and in the final line it prints the whole list because I want to merge the two lists that I added. I hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe for more coding content. See you in the next video. Until then, keep coding.